All right, what's going on you guys? This is the workout for uh, Tuesday, December 22nd. Wow, 22nd. Tuesday, December 22nd, upper body emphasize. Uh, we're gonna start off with a little shoulder warm up. So we do some external uh, rotation, both horizontal and vertical. We're gonna alternate between the two and there will be no rest. So we're just gonna do three rounds, 15 reps each. And uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna, do it just holding the band, okay? We've done this before. So, we'll start with the um, vertical external rotation. So we're just gonna hold that band down around the belly here, and we're gonna pull the band upwards. Now notice my arm stays at 90 degrees to the elbow, and I'm just rotating around. Sometimes what I like to do here is try to get a little bit, almost internal rotation at the bottom here, pull around. So get basically as much rotational range as possible. So do one arm for 15, we go to the other arm for 15. You might notice one side is tighter than the other side. This side for me is definitely tighter. And as I rotate around, I can get more and more range. So we do both sides for 15, and then we'll do double hand horizontal, pack down the shoulders, and just pull out. Try to keep those elbows in. Again, my range is not that great on this, so you'll notice that my elbows tend to come out slightly. Do your best to keep those elbows in, okay? Next, we're gonna do a, a two-arm incline dumbbell press. Um, the bench is gonna be set to 45 degrees, and uh, we're gonna do five sets of eight, okay? So, again, all the weights listed on the board are starting weights, and um, with an exercise like this, you know, you're gonna take two or three sets to build up to that eight rep max, okay? So, with this, we can elevate the seat slightly, maybe one or two notches up, depending on your height. I like to go one. Start with dumbbells on your knees, and then of course you can kick them up, especially as they get heavier, it gets harder to get them up. So I'm just gonna kick one up, and then I kick the other one up. Pack the shoulders down, and we're gonna hold the dumbbells just above the chest and just to the outside. So I'm a little bit less than 90 degrees to the elbows right now. I'm gonna press up and just slightly back. Up and slightly back. So when I say slightly back, those weights are ending up sort of over almost my chin at the top. At the bottom here, I'm in line with my upper chest. Okay, again, five sets of eight. Next, we're gonna do a flat, Dumbbell fly. So I'm gonna flatten out that bench altogether. Make sure that this is actually settled at the bottom. And on this one here, we're gonna do three sets of 12. Oh, by the way, on your presses, you're gonna go every two minutes, okay? This one here, we're gonna go every minute and a half, so a little bit shorter. Um, we want to do a fly, we want to keep those elbows up on a flat fly. So we're basically going to be doing this motion, okay? So my palms are up. Well, that's not totally true. We're going to start with the palms in this direction. As we come down, the palms are going to go up. But notice my elbows, my elbows are going to stay up, okay? So you're going to start in that pronated position and then in that um, sort of uh, a neutral position, okay? So pronated to neutral. Um, again, just trying to keep those elbows up, okay? Three sets of, let me see, 15 or 12, 12. Three sets of 12. So, again, weights on the knees. I like to go right back here. We can waist here. Again, I'm sorry, I'm throwing the position so my palms are facing down toward the feet. And then as I open up, I just a slight bend in the elbow, not much. Nice stretch on the chest here. Nice and deep. I'm going to come back up and I'm going to throw my hands back. So again, the palms are facing away from me, towards my knees, from my feet, okay? Again, opening up nice and wide. Good stretch of the chest. Back up, squeezing the chest to the top. Okay? Again, three sets of 12. Go in that half. Guys, start with about 20 to 25 pounds. Ladies, 15 to, uh, sorry, 12 to 15 pounds on this, okay? Get, we're gonna get that nice stretch. We wanna open up the arms. We don't wanna go straight with the arms, but keep a little bit of a bend, say about 20 degrees at the elbow, okay? Exercise number four. We're gonna do a one-arm 
uh, wide arm dumbbell row, okay? So we're gonna lean into the bench, or you can lean into the cage for this. So, the elbow is going to, or the arm is going to come out right out wide, okay? So not like this, okay, we've done this one before. This is gonna be a wide arm row. So we're gonna pull that dumbbell down, the arm is straight, and then we're gonna pull out wide. So I'm not increasing the elbow here, then I come back, then I'm straight, then I pull out wide, then I'm straight, pull out wide. I'm gonna show you from behind here, okay, so watch my arm from behind. So here, right out wide. See how wide I'm coming here? Here, out wide. Here, out wide. Squeezing back that shoulder. Okay. Again, four, uh, four sets of 15, guys, 30 to 35 pounds to start with. Ladies, probably 15 to 20 pounds. Okay, see how that is. Okay, go every two minutes on that one. Uh, next, we're gonna do a front plate raise. Okay, or you can use a dumbbell for this if, if, if the plates are too heavy, or you're in between, say, two plates. Um, so front plate raise, we're gonna superset it with band pull apart. So, plate rings, arms nice and straight here, glutes tight, abs tight, we're going to lift straight up overhead, come back down, bring that uh, plate or dumbbell straight up overhead, okay, I'll show you with the dumbbell here, dumbbell straight up overhead, we're going to keep those arms nice and straight, of course once that dumbbell comes right down to your hips, or near your hips, we're gonna come right back up again. Okay, and we're taking the weight straight up overhead. Okay, we're gonna do 15 reps with that, then we're gonna go straight into a flat band pull apart. So again, keeping those elbows up, pulling the band apart, squeezing back those shoulder blades. Okay, four sets of 15 on each. Gentlemen, uh, weight-wise, I would start with about 25 to 35 pound plate. Ladies, maybe you could do 25 pound plate. Uh, it might be a bit too heavy for you though. We are doing 15 reps, so probably, you know, more realistic would be maybe 15 pound dumbbell, perhaps 20 pound dumbbell, okay? All right, lastly, uh, oh, I don't know if I said this, but you're gonna go over two minutes. Last year. We're gonna superset. So another superset. Incline, supinated curls. Okay, we're gonna twist at the wrist here. Or I should say the forearm. So, shoulders back, arms back. Starting neutral here. I'm gonna curl up, curl up, and I'm going to twist. Okay, so the palm is facing up and up. As I come down, I just gradually twist back to a neutral position. Then I go to the other side, okay? So we're gonna alternate for 15 reps. Try and keep those shoulders back. Make sure you get full extension at the elbow at the bottom of this place. We get full range of motion as always. 15 of those. Then we're gonna just Uh, Weight-wise, I would use um, a different set of weights for each of these exercises. You'll be a little bit stronger on your curls. Um, so guys, 20 to 25 pounds, ladies, uh, for your curls. Ladies, um, probably anywhere from 10 to 15 pounds, okay? Uh, when it comes to your skull crushers, you're gonna have to go a little bit lighter. So guys, maybe 15 to 20 pounds. And ladies, eight, uh, maybe five pounds. Uh, you might be able to go as heavy as 10, 
okay? Somewhere in that range, okay? Just probably one notch down from your curls, all right? If that is all. Any questions for me, please just let me know. And uh, good luck, and hopefully I will see you tomorrow.